We are still under caution at the California Speedway in the 515 laps being recorded in the record book. Most of those coming under the uh, caution flag, the ambulance making its way back uh, to the infield area. The initial report from the scene, and remember Dr. Steve Alvey uh, on the scene, came as what uh, they refer to as a code five, which in medical terms is injuries are serious possibly life-threatening. That is the only information that we have at this moment. And of course, the first concern is for the well-being of Greg Moore. And the last concern is forcing anyone to come up with information prematurely or even worse, inaccurately. So we're just going to wait until we have a further update. And the doctors are always very good about giving that, not just to us, but to family and friends uh, just as quickly as they can. These are the skid marks off of turn two. One set belongs to Richie Hearn. That's the set on the left. Set on the left is Richie Hearn. Set on the right is Greg Moores. In either case, both drivers reacted to the back of the car stepping out by going to full throttle, which has become common practice this, these days. You're trying to rotate the car all the way around and keep it on the racing surface. Unfortunately for both Richie and Greg, the car got to 90 degrees, hooked up, and shot across the grass. We've seen two other incidents in this portion of the racetrack earlier this weekend. What could it be? It could be as simple as a slight breeze coming down that straightaway, so as they come onto the back straightaway, it pins the nose. It could be that they're on full tanks with low tire pressures. There's a small bump there. The car could bottom and turn the car around. It could just be cold tires and too much throttle coming off. These cars are so sensitive and so on the edge with this reduced downforce package. It could be a number of different things. Now maybe we can get more information now. Jan Bikas is with Richie Hearn, who was in the earlier incident. Yes, and of course, that was on the same place of the racetrack. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Greg Moore had a big crash in the same place. Is there something on the racetrack that may have caused it? Well, I don't think so. I mean, for me, it was just purely a uh, turbulence uh, issue. I, I got a really good run coming off of turn two, and, you know, I pulled down low, and, you know, there's about three or four guys, you know, about three wide in front of me, and it just gets really unpredictable and just lost the rear end slightly, and then that was it, all she rode. You know, you're on a knife edge out there, so it's... Uh, yeah, I saw. I didn't know know what happened to Greg, and um, I mean it could be the same thing. Cause it's pretty busy in the back. You okay? Otherwise? I'm okay. I'm okay. I slowed the car down quite a bit. I hit pretty pretty square, but um, um, you know, um, you know, it's just a bad day for the Budweiser team. All right, we look forward to seeing you back next year, and hopefully that Toyota is looking good. It'll look good in the year 2000. Thank you. Yeah, it looked good today. It's looking good right now, but uh, you know, hopefully next year will be even better. Thanks, Richie. All right, thank you. Well, that's good news there. There is uh, what is left of the forward section, the tub of Greg Moore's car as they try to get it back to the transporters. And as yet, we continue to wait for any update information on the condition of Greg Moore. And don't forget coverage of the NFL, both on ESPN and ABC. Tampa Bay takes on Detroit on Sunday. Seattle versus Green Bay on Monday night. For more, log on to the ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. This is a look down on the California Speedway from the Honda Helicam orbiting above the track, and we are still under a full course caution. We're going to show you the summary of the full field at this point with Michael Andretti in front, but Parker, what about turbulence as an issue? Well, as Richie said, these cars are right on a knife edge. Just a few years ago, these cars produced 4,000 pounds of downforce at 230 miles an hour. Today, they produce exactly half of that at 2,000 pounds. So how did they get the speeds back up? Well, continued engine development and tire development. They are producing very little downforce in, compared to the past. But if you get behind a line of cars and the car is perfectly balanced, you come out to the edge of the road just like Richie did or Greg did and try to hold the car down. These cars may look sleek, but they produce a huge amount of turbulence with the open wheels. And that's all it takes to take the remaining downforce off the car and create an accident as we've seen twice today. Still quite a bit of cleanup to do here as we wait for the restart of this race. 19 laps are complete. We also wait for more information on the condition of driver Greg Moore. 